and uh, he's going to tell us what he did. Uh, so, that's Hi, right. hello everybody. Um, so, my name is Abel Danye, and um, so for YES, or Youth Empowerment Services, we were, I was assigned a project to create a website for my church. My church is Darul Salam Saint Mikali Dovin Orthodox Tawahado Church, or DSSM EOTC. So I created uh, this website, and um, some of my features of the website include a, uh, I de so I developed it on Notepad++ in one week. Um, it has a beautifully styled CSS. I integrate videos from Facebook and YouTube. It has sliding information tabs. Uh, responsive and adaptable user interface. It can securely accept donations through PayPal. It has a newsletter uh, that people can subscribe to. And also is parked on the domain, dssmbotc.com. Um, so I'm gonna show a quick dem demo of it. Okay, so this is the website. Uh, so the red, yellow, green, that uh, I created that in CSS using like this gradient software, and um, you can see this logo. I created that also, and this top bar right there. When you click on the things, it will scroll down to the right page, and when you highlight a uh, section, it will turn yellow, and then when you click on it, it will turn red. And these icons, you can see the different colors, the gradients, all things you can do with CSS is very, very nice. And also this visit us button. It will take you to Google Maps, but not only will it take you there, but it will input the destination of our church inside the, the destination um, tab. And then you can see the embedded video that we can change from Facebook to YouTube. And also the this tab right here, we can slide. So you can show different content here. And for the subscribe, it sends you a beep. Once you subscribe, you can input your name and your email. And then I can send, uh, emails to everyone whenever I want to. And when you sign up for the first time, you'll get an automated email, and it looks like this. It just says, hi, thank you for joining us. So yeah. And not only that, but you can also donate through PayPal. And uh, you can donate three different amounts or your own amount, which you choose. It could be a uh, $10, maybe $10, $15, $25, or any other amount. And then uh, also, you don't have to just have a PayPal account. You can also donate with your credit card or debit card. And yeah. So that's the website. But not, not only did I build a website, but actually I, have, I built a lot of things. So OK, so uh, this was me at a very young age when I uh, first used technology and video. Do you draw this? Yeah. When? Today, 444. Okay. That's very nice. And it's yeah. What do you want to be? Hmm? What do you want to be? I'll be a software When you grow up? Yep. Okay. I mean, yeah, so as you can see, at 444 on that day, I decided to be a software engineer. I started uh, so very young. I was at like around six or something like this when I started this. I started with Visual Studio and C Sharp when after I saw my dad working on for his uh, job, I got curious, I asked him questions, he showed me around, and I started working on building applications. So I started building a calculator, which is an entry app for most people. Then I moved on to building a search engine shortcut because my computer was incredibly slow. This like Dell would not open Chrome. So then I had to, uh, I created this uh, search engine shortcut where I could click on it and almost really fast it would just go directly to Google and it helped me a lot. And then I also had this uh, camera application that uh, I was uh, young and I decided that I wanted to make this I had a crazy idea. It was to put like, let's say you had a furniture, like a couch, you put a camera behind the couch and in front of the couch, you take a picture and the footage from behind that couch will then replace the footage of the couch itself. So it'll like mask it out and make it invisible. I did not even know that people uh, outside like big companies were making using this kind of technology for their cloning devices, like uh, on airplanes, like stealth planes, that's how they do like to clone. So uh, it, was, it was incredible actually how young I was. I even created a small prototype out of a, a cardboard and a duct tape, but yeah. And then as I grew older from around after I was like nine to uh, my age now, I started using Xamarin to build Android apps. You can build native apps or cross-platform apps like iOS apps. And I use, also use uh, Unity 
to build games for virtual reality, uh, and also not just virtual reality, but 2D platformer games. So I built uh, applications such as uh, Virtual Reality Maze because all the mazes that were sold on the App Store were really, uh, you, you know, you had to pay for them. Like every five seconds, there was advertisements at every corner you turn. So I created my own. And then also the 2D platformer games. Those were uh, just for fun. And then finally I built, uh, the one I published was an OCR, a text-to-speech and translation app. So I'm gonna talk more about that app. So it's called PigSpeak, short for Picture Speak, because that's what it does. Uh, it recognizes text in the Latin alphabet uh, through a camera. It detects what languages they are in. It tra translates that, that text into a variety of languages of your choice, and then it speaks out the translated <laughs> text. It can uh, read fine print and has an easy to use user, user interface. I published it to the Google Play Store uh, uh, in 2017, and since then it's received 400 plus downloads. Uh, five-star rating, and I also got attention from ATP. Uh, they're uh, uh, called Assistive Technology Partnership, and it's a government office in Nebraska. What they do is uh, they find technology for uh, people with disabilities. They get their, um, they try to find technology to help their lives. And it was really cool that they reached out to me about my app, seeing uh, if I'm a good candidate for it. So I have a quick demo. So uh, this is my app that one right there. And you can see the screen right there, that text. Obviously we don't know what it says, so let's ask PigSpeak. This application is great. Sorry if you could, if you guys heard that, I said this application is great, which is true. Uh, okay, and also, what about this test? I think that's Spanish. I'm taking Spanish 3, I still don't understand that, so let's ask Pig, PigSpeak. I've never seen software, so. Well, yeah, I've never seen software as well as this either. All right, what about this last text right here? Talk idea for app, like I don't even know what language that is. So let's see, maybe does anyone understand Korean? No. Okay. Uh, the, sorry, internet's bad, but maybe I can do Italian. Right? Crazy achuti, crazy achuti for Las Colto. That's Italian, if anyone understood that. Right, let's just find out what it actually means in English. Thank you all for listening. Okay, there you go. She said thank you all for listening. That's what I meant. Okay, so yeah, thank you for listening. <laughs> also, I just want to thank uh, Yayi for setting up this program and uh, uh, giving me this opportunity. So, thank you.